Another day, another problematic person gets their five minutes. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome. And um, today, I'm reacting to one of my favourite people on the internet talking about a YouTuber whose name is always in mess. Okay. <laughs> Okay, one of my favorite people on YouTube, Elise talking about. Oh, well, the question is: Is this the downfall of Jeffrey Star? Mhm. Mm so I can't wait to get right into this video because unless you've been on YouTube, you um, <laughs> unless you've been on YouTube, and even if you're not on YouTube but you know people who are, then you've probably heard the name Jeffrey Star. I mean, I can, I mean, I've heard the name everywhere. I'm pretty sure it was even trending on Twitter last week. <laughs> so I'm kicking off on Instagram and then deleting the story. Allegedly. Allegedly. So, without further ado, I'm about to get right into this reaction. So I've got this on record. And this shirt, several videos in a row. Yeah, enjoy my drink. Because see, there's so something in this that's going to make me choke. You know the website my drink. Insider. I had this conspiracy uh -huh. theory that I came up with yesterday that someone at Insider who writes articles really doesn't like Jeffrey Star because they keep doing articles about Jeffrey Star. The expose of Jeffree Star, downfalls of Jeffree Star. It's like a drama, commentary, YouTuber video, but just in article form. So anyway, I found two articles about Jeffree Star, and we're going to look over them because that's what we like to do. However, before we get into that, two things. First of all, YouTubers in that thing where they're unsubbing active subscribers. God knows why. So go down and make sure you're subscribed. If you've been unsubscribed, if you're unsubscribed, but maybe consider subscribing. It really helps, and also like or dislike and comment for the engagement and the second thing is that today's video is sponsored by i might leave a comment legends. after this video sexy champions check <laughs> what does me forget horses? by the end of it check. Millions of i feel like at the end of this i'm just gonna be like check. blank great shadow legends has it all <clears throat> this game brings back everything i remember about my childhood such as when i'd fight elves and orcs just up the road at tesco's curious aroused then check out my link in the description box below and download the game and find out yourself have i ever mentioned that you can play raid on both mobile and desktop did you know that raid shadow legends has 16 factions including high elves barbarians orcs and my favorite <clears throat> the lizard men here's some lore about the lizard men once there were lizard men who had an empire something along the lines of ancient egypt in style wow it's like Raid Shadow Legends is a historical game as well as being a fun mobile and desktop game. Mm -hmm. But then, love ya, but yeah. Human, Just get to the point. Summon a rare champion. It's some concept art for some, this lizard guy. Okay. Grinner. The Elise Easy Channel for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's. <laughs> I know you've got to get your coin, but. <laughs> I've got to get this. I've only just gone around seeing Jeffree Star, James Charles, and other influencers are facing backlash for exploiting animals and posing with monkeys to promote a fashion brand. Jeffrey, One li Gucci monkeys mm -hmm. to promote fashion brand, mm -hmm. bananas monkeys. Mm -hmm. That's tip of the iceberg with all the mess that Jeffree Star has been in. A lot of it. <laughs> but hey, he gets that in one way or another. He's just going to do another. He's just going to do another um, apology video where he just where, where he just sits there looking bougie in his um in his um was it mansion house whatever it's a big old house and it just goes it was wrong again let's see how let's let's see how it plays out okay bananas monkey i'm not the most clued up person about things but it just doesn't sound like very good bananas monkey okay 
So they recently sent a baboon and capuchin monkey to the homes of Jeffree Star, James Charles, some influencers to his clothing. Though it's unclear who created the fashion company, some people think controversial YouTubers Austin and Catherine McBroom of the Ace family are behind it. What weird conspiracy theory is this? This is like some Illuminati shit. People online are not arguing that the videos and photos exploit animals and encourage people to seek out wild species as pets that they can't properly care for. Mm. Debbie Metzler of PETA also told Insider that Bananas Monkey and the influencers print the brand are helping to fuel a shady industry that forcibly, forcefully separate baby monkeys from their mothers to raise them as pets. Now, the influencers are being criticised for exploiting animals, encouraging private ownership of wild species, and in some cases being hypocritical, for posing with monkeys when they offer to promote cruelty free beauty products. I mean, if you really want to open this can of worms, cruelty free worms, it's hypocritical that they promote cruelty free beauty oh, products. <clears throat> and, well, Jeffrey loves wearing fur. So that in itself is hypocritical. And some people disagree with that, but it's, well, no, they're going cruelty free mm-hmm. so they can try and make a buck off of the people who are environmentally aware of where their makeup and products come from. So it's purely a cynical business move, not because they actually give a shit about the animal or the vegans pop it down now. I try, I try to keep my vegans like in a cupboard somewhere for videos <laughs> because I don't want to, you know, I, I, I'm aware that these views can be polarizing and alienating somewhat, but it is... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jeffrey Star can do what he wants, but to have cruelty free products to make a buck off of people who care about animals and then wearing wears fur, which is not needed, it's twenty twenty, is hypocritical. I said it, like I, I don't care. It is hypocritical. And people can argue with that point, but remember, you're standing for a person who laughs at you when he makes his apology videos. Anyway <laughs> the same. What a stupid name. Oh, can't know that. Aims to help shoppers embrace the unconventional through clothes that add an offbeat twist to classic silhouettes. That is a whole lot of nothing. That doesn't mean anything. Sometimes some influencers are only good at weak influencers. About us on the Banana mm-hmm. Monkey website. A few years mm-hmm. ago, he's a fruit. I'm not I'm not being funny though, but what influence does Jeffree Star and James Charles have? All they all they're doing is out here partying during global pandemic and and getting in mess. In mess. What? What type of influence is that? <laughs> They're not influencing shit. <laughs> My God. Because it's all just coming out now. Mhm. The card's being just coming out. Yeah, so it's just slipping, slowly yeah. slipping away. To answer these questions, they created Bananas Monkey, the brand lives beyond the page of normality. By adding an offbeat twist to classic silhouettes, Bananas Monkey invites you to embrace the unconventional and be bold in your uniqueness. Wow, these clothes better be really, really good. Oh, okay. Okay. Just a bunch of this basic. Generic. Very unique. Okay, right. You, it's weird. You need my ass. That shit is just generic. Pretentious. Yashar Ali shared a compilation video of Star James, Charles, Michael Yerga, and Daisy Keith posing the animals on Twitter. Using primates like this, not only abusive, but also ends up encouraging private ownership of primates. This is exploitative and gross. These monkeys are living beings, not props. The brand is terrible for using them this way. These influencers are just as bad as the small secrets causing and promoting this. Some said they were especially bothered by Star's decision to pose with monkeys and pointed out they included a live alligator in his latest makeup campaign video. Okay. On Twitter, people argue the Star's photos and videos with wild animals contradicts his promotion of vegan and cruelty-free products through Jeffree Star Cosmetics. As National Geographic previously reported, monkeys sold in the pet trade can come from zoos and laboratories. Breeders, however, often take baby primates from their mothers as early as three days old and later give them stuffed animals, blankets, rubber inanimate objects to pose their mothers. The animals can then go on to develop abnormal behaviours in their youth, according to the publication, and even become dangerous as they reach sexual maturity. Well, I guess the easiest thing to do then is to not buy Jeffree Star cosmetics and also not buy this bananas monkey clothes. $98 for a hoodie. Okay? That is a scam! Moving on, swiftly. Was it $98 for a hoodie like that? (laughs) Hey! 
I might, I might as, I might as well just take this, remove, remove the S there, put a J in there instead, put a J in there instead, and then, and then sell it for a grand. How much? How much that go? No, what? No, no, no one would buy that shit. They'd be like, hell no. <laughs> It's funny because on one hand here I am making a video about this article, but on the other hand it does feel a little bit like, is it, is it newsworthy? Well, let's see, okay, the journalist behind this article, Pax Penbarge, is a digital culture reporter for Insider. She investigates influencers, internet communities and everything online. So look at all this stuff, she's giving me content. Don't worry, I'll credit you. <laughs> Go check out our articles then. No, she signed up on a Jeffree Star. Jeff. Three stars, merch company reported a COVID-19 outbreak among its staff with 10 confirmed cases. Hmm. Right, one thing at a time. Okay, let's go... More shit's going on about the free star as it's going on. ...the killer merch, a merchandising company that works with internet stars like Cody Kerr and Shane Dawson, as well as sugar sugar celebrities like... Love that, hold on, let me see that. Makeup mogul Jeffree Star has claimed to have part ownership of the killer merch, a merchandising company that works with internet stars like Cody Kerr and Shane Dawson, as well as traditional stuff like that. Don't know that. Killer Merch is one of the 167 non residential settings in Los Angeles County, which includes workplaces, restaurants, and retail stores, with three or more laboratory confirmed COVID 19 cases. The Public Health Department in LA County says there are 10 confirmed COVID 19 cases at Killer Merch. Star also announced in the recent YouTube video that he believes he had the coronavirus in February along with a bunch of his employees. The news of COVID 19 cases at Killer Merch was first reported by YouTube drama channel Here for the Tea. Maybe this reporter is a YouTube drama channel. Who posted a screenshot of the LA County's public health website and Instagram. And there's the screenshot. Total confirmed staff, 10. Staff claims he had a severe fever while travelling in the Dominican Republic at the beginning of the year. Way back in February, me, Shane, Max, and a bunch of my employees had COVID, so I had it so long ago. I've gotten tested a lot. We've done a lot of photo shoots and I get tested all the time. I've never retested. Huh? What? What does that mean? I get tested all the time. I've never retested. What? In March, Dawson also talked about his belief that he had the coronavirus. His belief. Did he make it into a conspiracy? Christmas is not I swear, guys. Every time you hear Jeffrey Star, Shane's name is not too far behind. You have to say you stick with trash, eventually become trash, right? Although he never tested positive. Is that the same that should be applied in this case? Oh no. I might send this to my friend after. <laughs> I feel like I know she's gonna say. Say she be she saying what she always does. Jeffree Star is a snake. So yeah. Here you go. She See. See, not everyone agrees. Clickbait at its finest! 
His latest Jeffree Star Cosmetics makeup collection hasn't sold out, and some of the older palettes have been sold for reduced prices at TJ Maxx, something Star has mocked other beauty entrepreneurs for. In Star's most recent video, a collaboration with drag queen India Ferrer, posted on November 15th, had under 1 million views at the time of his writing. The video failed to surpass 1 million views when a full week of uploading, and Star hasn't had a video perform at that level since 2016. On Ferrer's tweet, right. announcing the collaboration, there's twice as many negative comments as positive ones. On Instagram, despite having 14.3 million followers, Star hasn't had a post break 1 million likes since September 2nd. Star previously mocked his former best friend, Kat Von D, for having her products sold in TJ Maxx stores. I heard about and this. he's thinking it's TK Maxx. Are TJ Maxx and TK Maxx sister companies? Someone tell me in the comments below. Tweeting, KVD will be a TJ Maxx exclusive in 2019, I've heard, in December 2018. And um, before I forget, does anyone know any good makeup brands that are cruelty free? Because I'm not happy with my Urban Decay foundation. I meant to say this at the beginning of the video, but my Urban Decay foundation, I think it's my skin care. I don't even watch Beauty Channels and I know more about makeup like than, than half really the beauty people. I just have a nice life. How the fuck does that work? So if anyone knows any good cruelty free, preferably vegan makeup brands with good foundation doesn't cake, but it's not full, full coverage because I don't like it being caked on. Let me know. We've got this below. If anyone... Oh, no. If people made it this far to the video, just by saying that. There's a team star tweet here. Breaking. Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, Conspiracy Palette popping up at TJ Maxx at high discounts. <laughs> Imagine that being breaking news. A cash-grab product is getting sold at the price it should be sold at in the first place. Star has released several makeup collections since the Conspiracy Collection. They haven't performed nearly as well as when shoppers lined up for hours ahead of the Dawson's collaboration release. I will never answer. I don't think I've. I don't queue up for anything. I don't think I've queued up in anticipation of the release of a product. You would never catch me queuing up. Imagine in like a few years' time, you catch me queuing up for some products. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like queuing up, waiting in a line outside of Apple or whatever. During that first lockdown, when there were loads of queues for Sainsbury's and Tesco's, I. <laughs> I won't queue up, I'll just go home. <laughs> go to the shop, see this big queue, and then just be like, oh, I'll go to the vibe, I've got loads of fake beans to eat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like queuing up for shit, unless I really have to. Guess what? You don't have to queue up for a makeup collection. Star's most recent launch, the Blood Money collection, hasn't sold out more than two weeks after its release, according to his website. It seems like Star's reputation is finally catching up to it. It's taken about over a decade, hasn't it? Then it just goes into the problematic behaviour and comments of Star. Uh, which we discussed at length on this channel. Then in October, Insider Report also on our vexation to sexual assault is provided $10,000 hush money offers that Star denied for his attorneys. He didn't address the report publicly. The combination of scandals appears to have impacted Star's reputation. The beauty YouTuber is preparing for a Black Friday sale, but where there used to be plenty of internet bars, there's now barely a whisper. I mean, but he's still uh, very, very, very rich, so... I'm mm -hmm. sure he's not worried too much. He's probably more worried about not getting the attention he desperately <laughs> requires to function on a day to day basis. Anyway, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like and subscribe. I make yeah. videos whenever I feel like it. Thank you very much again to Ray Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Okay. Yeah, I'm actually gonna like the video. <clears throat> I'm not, actually, no, not quite. I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave a very funny comment because I'm funny like that, right? <clears throat> Ooh, let me just read a few comments first. Okay. I love how every, comment, how every commentator is like, someone at Inside the uh, really hates uh, Jeffree Star. This cat, her name is Cat. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Let me like that comment. Let me like that comment. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> is it the downfall of Jeffree Star um, part 39? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yeah, well, I actually had fun th this video. Let me put th this down there. This. Mm -hmm. If you're from the UK, or even if you're not, you're probably going to get it when when I say this this video is jokes. Okay. Love emoji. There you go. Ready? No comment on YouTube. There, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> well, 2020 has been a shit show. Silver lining, 
the skeletons of people's closets are getting exposed. Whether you're, whether you're a YouTuber, a reality star, a politician, <laughs> you're getting exposed for any mess from your past and your present. Right? Gosh, that's the only silver line about 2020. Everything else has just been shit. Well, apart from Biden winning the US election. Uh, okay. <laughs> so that was me reacting to one of my favorite people on YouTube for like the fourth time. <laughs> Probably won't be the last. And um, I also, also gave a little bit of a, I gave a little opinion, sort of. And I've got a little bit of things off my chest. So I'm off to drama my stories and some vodka. Okay. So see you um, in the next video. Bye.